Paul, thank you for joining us on Reds TV. Uh, it's finished 1-1 one, one here against St. Neots. Have you ever seen a game like it? No, it's, 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 it's been a strange one really, uh, hasn't it, Dan? Um, I understand that one of the hardest jobs in football is being a referee. And it's very rare, if ever, I, I say anything about them. But today, unfortunately, uh, as a young lad, um, I think the game's got the better of him. Uh, and there was some, some really poor decisions out there for me. And it just got worse and worse for him. And albeit, um, I don't think he was helped with two sets of players. Uh, but the game just seemed to be too big for him. And I feel for him a little bit. So um, we've seen, uh, we'll carry on from the refereeing decisions, we've seen 10 yellow cards, 3 red cards for your red side, do you feel like you'll be contesting any of those? Yeah, we'll have to reassess and have a look at the, have a look at the footage Dan, um, but for me there wasn't, uh, there was nothing in the game, it was two sides that were having a go and uh, I, I don't know where the cards have all come from if I'm being honest, but as I said until you, until you see them again and look back at it, we'll have to reassess the situation and go from there. Um, but, but it just spoiled any sort of tempo of the game and, and credit to my boys, you know, to hang in, to play a lot, a lot of the game with 10 and a lot of the game with 9 and then some of the game with 8 and go and get a result. It just shows the, uh, that the heart and the, and the get up and go that's amongst them. You'll have to say that the 8 people that stayed on the pitch at the end of the game, they've given it their all and they were re rewarded justly, I think. Yeah, they were outstanding, you can't, you can't deny that, they were brilliant and I'm really pleased for them. That said, this was a big six pointer for us. We're at home against St Neots and we've got to go and get three points. That was the, that was the aim. And albeit we're in there and we're we we're, we're related to go and go and nick a point at the end, which is just we needed three points and I wanted three points and we didn't get them. So from these last three games, we was probably expecting six, seven points and we come away with five. Is that satisfaction to you or? No, like I say, I, I wanted three points today. This was the game that I'd ident identified to get three points in. The way the game's panned out, no one would have realised how it was going to pan out um, but you know we were on a bit of a bad run it was important we stopped that run and now we're un unbeaten in the three games over the week so that's a big plus we've got to take that plus going forward into two big training sessions. The transformation in the team in the last week alone has been commendable what are you looking to do next week? Yeah well I think the last minute equaliser or a couple of minutes to go on Tuesday then another one here with that down to eight men it just shows what, what what's in the group you know they're a hard working group they stick together and, and, and they, 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 again I think they've got the just reward because second half, even when we're down to 10, 9 and 8, we're the better side, you know, we, we were camped in their half and we were unlucky not to get something, so I think we've got our just rewards. It's important we get two big training sessions in now and then we've got to look forward to, to a trip to Royston next week. Paul, thank you. Cheers, mate.